Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this video we will discuss about grid layout in our QTML application and also we will discuss about its basics property and what is the use of grid layout in our QTML application and how it works. So let's start. So let's import the QTML layout. Okay, now let's create the grid layout. So in grid layout we have to define the number of columns so let's use the column property so let's define the two columns okay now let's create the rectangle controls to display in our grid layout so first of all set the id so let's set the id my rect1 and also let's set the uh, width and height property prepare width 50 and layout dot prefer height is also 50 also you can set your color property so let's select the color let's select this one and also let's display the text property so rect1 okay also display the our text in center of the rectangle so you see anchor property and center of in our parent also let's display our grid layout in our center of application so here also you see anchor property and center in dot our parent okay now let's create the two or more rectangles in our grid layout so just simply copy this code and change the object name here change it to 3 and 4 you can select the different color from for it so let's select this one this one and let's select uh, this one also okay now let's run the application and check it Okay, here we have to use the columns, not columns. Okay, now let's check it again. So you can see the rectangles are displayed. Here two columns are displayed. So let's you can also adjust here three columns. So check it again. So you can see the all rectangle are. Uh, grid layout create your three columns and add each and every rectangle one by one in every column then create a new row and set the rectangle four in the new row of first column okay now let's create the uh, three or more rectangle again to understand the grid grid layout properly so now let's create the of here five also five and here set the six okay now let's change the color select this one and select this one now let's check it again So you can see the new new two rectangles are automatically aligning with column two and column three. Okay, now let's uh, understand the uh, more properties like row span and call span. So now let's I let me change the here columns two. Okay. Now let's see the the rectangle one and two are displayed properly in column row one, which each each rectangle has a individual column. Okay. So now let's here we create a call span property layout dot call span so let's merge the two columns call span doing merging of two columns okay so i assign the two columns okay so it merge it will merge the two columns okay and display the rectangle in single manner so you can see it it 
the rect uh, is it is uh, column uh, row two is merged means two columns are merged with rectangle three. Okay, so here we also use the uh, layout dot fill width property. Fill width true. Okay, now you can you will understand better. So you can see the second row is merged with all, all two columns okay so now let's create the uh, one more rectangle and merge the uh, row again okay here i we, we will merge the uh, column now let's merge the uh, row okay now let's select the uh, different color for this okay now let's merge the uh, this one so let's merge the uh, column rectangle 4 so let's use the layout dot row span okay so let's merge the three rows okay and use the fill height property also and see Now let's run the application so you can see the rect 1 and 2 are properly displayed in, in each column then after we will we merge the uh, call use uh, second second row or two columns so here we use a uh, row span so it will merge the uh, two columns okay now we use the uh, rectangle 4 as a row span so we 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 merge the uh, three rows so here you can see rectangle 5 6 and 7 are displayed and four was merged of the three rows okay and five six seven are display respectively as it is so you can see how row span and call span are work or also you can add, uh, assign the individual alignment properties so let's uh, remove this one and also let's remove this one fill width and fill height and let's assign the alignment also so let's use the align layout dot alignment ut dot align center let's use the center and display the our uh, rectangle in center so here we use the align center and now let's run the application and check it so you can see the uh, rectangle are display in the center of the is area so here we merge the uh, three rows so rectangle four are displayed in the center of that uh, or wall row and here you can see the rectangle 3 are displayed between the uh, two columns okay so you can see how column width and column height uh, column layouts are work also and how columns row span and column uh, row span and call spans are worked and how grid layout are work you can also use here uh, uh, create your three columns So you can see how the layouts are adjusted if you like it okay so this is the grid layout and please drop your comment if you have any questions about grid layout uh, in our qtqml application and how to use its basics property and please like this video and share this video with your friend and subscribe to my youtube channel and press the bell icon to get the notification of new video and thanks for watching my video, thank you.